Hi there, my name is Tomix and I love VR. So today we're going to be talking about Windlands, and the funny thing is, I didn't even intend to make a video about this game, at least not yet, not today. Uh, but the game hasn't been working for me for a while now, and I guess they updated it or something, and now it works again. And as soon as I went back into the game, I was like, I love this game so much, I gotta record it. So, I'm gonna go into the game, I've already started it, uh, I've played quite a bit of it, I've owned it before I even had a VR headset. Uh, and I'm just gonna talk about it a little bit. So this is Windlands. So, the basic premise in Windlands is you're a guardian, which is, for lack of a better explanation, the chosen one or whatever. And you basically Spider-Man around this fantasy landscape, grabbing onto trees with your hook and trying to reach your goals. And... Like I said, I've owned this game even before I had a VR headset. You, you can play it online. It existed before VR headsets were even on the market. But when I heard that it has VR support, that is definitely one of the things that convinced me to get a VR headset. I mean... Despite its deceptively simple graphics, it's immersive. The feeling of flying around these landscapes when you're not stuck trying to climb stupid trees like that uh, can be pretty amazing. Mm, let me just get reacquainted with the controllers because I haven't played in so long. This probably isn't the best uh, part of the level to showcase how awesome this game can be, but you know what? We'll make do. Aha, now we're now we're getting into the swing of things. Get it? Swing. It, it's it's because I'm swinging. It, never mind. Basically, Windlands is a platformer game. You hop from platform to platform and you try to get around the level. Uh the goal is basically to pick up artifacts. The artifacts you can see one over there, it's the blue thing, and uh there's Another one over there in that giant robot's eye. And there was one over there, but I think I already got that one. Uh, there are all these little platforms. Some of these platforms you have to jump and do parkour and stuff like that. Not really parkour, parkour, obviously. Just, you know, jumping from wall to wall and such. Uh, with others, you shoot your hooks and grab onto trees. You can't hang on to the surface, only trees. The game is very simple. The music is relaxing. The art, it, like, I imagine the game would be even better if the art was better, but it just serves the game well somehow. I mean... <laughs> Despite how basic it is, the game can still be pretty immersive. Um, when you fly around at first, it can be very disorienting. Personally, I don't get motion sickness, and the game does offer comfort features in case you are the sort of person who does get motion sickness from it. Oh, checkpoint! Uh, so, this is... Definitely one of the games I would say are a must-have for any new uh, Vive user. Unless you're like the sort of person who's very into shooters and stuff. But if you're like me and you like these little indie games or stuff that's more unusual, then I really recommend this game. I will say this though, the game can be insanely frustrating. I tried playing it for many hours before I had a VR headset, and even on the computer, there are parts I couldn't do. You see that uh, end checkpoint over there? Uh, I tried to get there, I tried so many times, and every time I got like really, really, really close, and fell. 
And that is frustrating, because the nearest checkpoint is nowhere near that. And I never did finish. I'm hoping I'll get to finish sometime. I don't know if it'll be in this video or not. I kind of doubt it, honestly. I'm still a bit rusty. But... Oops. But the game is definitely challenging. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a bad thing. The way the game works is these lower areas are usually very, um, you know, they're very free-flowing and fun. You swing from tree to tree and you're having a blast and all that. And the higher up you get, the more challenging things become. For example, here, if I want to get from here over to that tree, I think I might need to try and launch myself. That did not work out as I expected. Now... As far as games that make you feel like you're actually moving go, this is definitely one of the better ones. I mean, I'm never losing the sense that there is in fact a floor underneath me, but even after playing a while, there are these moments when you find yourself sort of moving or uh, changing your balance a bit because your brain thinks you are actually moving. Because the graphics are so simple, the game works so very smoothly. Uh, do I need to recalibrate this or something? The game is running perfectly smooth, um, which really, really helps. I, I find that the games that really give you a lot of motion sickness are usually the ones that uh, don't run completely smoothly. Let's see if I can make this jump. Nope. Eek! start collectible or something over here oh shit oh my head's too big for the vive straps how do i get up there okay okay this i can work with or not or not nope i cannot work with this i quit I can't tell you how bummed out I was when this game wasn't working for me for a while. Uh, I'm so glad they fixed it. It was one of my favorite VR games. Like, people who say there are no games for VR, or not many anyway, I know this game isn't, like, solely for VR, and I fell again. Uh... This game isn't just for VR, you can play it without a headset, but Jesus, what a difference. Let's see if I can do like a wall jump thing. I did, I did it, yay. Okay, how do I get up there? That's another thing I absolutely love about this game. It lets you essentially choose your own path. I mean, there's no one correct path to get anywhere. That is one of my absolute favorite things about a game, just... being a trailblazer, you know? I'm not a huge fan of these linear gameplays where you go the one way the game has rendered for you. Alright. We start off over there. And we still need to get up. Where's the head of this thing? Oh, way over there, I guess. Alright. Let's give it a go. <laughs> How do I get up from here, though? Oh. Yes. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I love doing this.
Now another good strategy for getting around is the launch, which means I aim over there. And that did not even work remotely the way I intended it to. Let's try it again. <laughs> Alright, not quite the way I intended, but worked better this time. Okay, that's the head of the giant robot guy. We need to get in its eye hole, and in order to do that, we need to climb up there. Alright. Yes! Uh oh. <laughs> By the way, the only reason I'm not freaking out about the movements and the heights is because I've already played this uh, so many times before. First time players can expect to be so... On one hand, disoriented. On the other hand, you know... Whatever the good equivalent of disoriented is. Basically, what I'm trying to say is... When you play this for the first time, the movements feel so much more real and substantial. Yes, the crystal. I've obtained the crystal, which I needed. Back when I played this on the computer, there was no plot. I mean, it just threw you in here. And I don't know if it's because I accidentally picked the wrong uh, difficulty setting or something. Or just because the plot was added in later. But either way, the plot is secondary. It almost doesn't matter. The point of the game is, it's a platformer. You basically hop around, try to get to the ending. There's checkpoints. That's about it. Pretty simple. Ooh, there's a collectible on that giant's hand. The collectibles are also pointless, but it's right over here, so might as well, you know? I'm not going to freak out about collecting all the collectibles. I mean, like I said, they don't really serve a purpose, but sometimes, you know, you just feel like taking a detour. Unfortunately, the only one that's left right now is that one. Geronimo! There are actually several different game modes. Uh, by that I don't mean like, you know, levels that work differently or have different goals, I just mean different settings on the remotes. Like, there's ones where you have tons of options and you can like strafe sideways and uh, rotate your view and all that. There's ones where it's just focused on simple controls. Oh, now how am I supposed to get over there? I mean, I don't have to, but there's a collectible there, so clearly I can. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Checkpoint. Right. Got a head start. Run, 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 jump! Ha ha ha, Spider-Man that shit. Hello, robot. It's kind of weird. In VR, the further away something is, the flatter it feels. Like, look at that robot. It doesn't really feel like I'm looking at something huge, but if I look over here, I definitely feel like this is a large thing that I'm standing on. 
But then again, there's also a little bit of that effect in real life. Like, you ever look at a giant skyscraper and think, that doesn't look so big? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm weird. That actually felt really fun for some reason. Just doing that motion as I jumped off. I'm facing away, aren't I? Hee! There we go! That is what I am talking about. Woohoo! Oh, almost rode that momentum all the way up there. <laughs> I wonder how many people developed this game. Is this like a fantastic one-person project, or is there like a whole studio behind this thing? Because the graphics look simple like a one-person project, but... I don't know, it's a pretty well-rounded game, I guess. It doesn't do much, but it does what it does well. You know what would be awesome? They added, like, an online gameplay to this thing, where, where you can, like, I, I don't know, just mess around online with other people and uh, race them or something. Just an online playground like this would be friggin' amazing, sort of like Climby has, you know? I mean, it's been a while since this game came out. Go figure. They, for all I know, they could be working on Windlands too. That that'd be fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. I have no idea if they're actually planning on making something like that, but wouldn't that be neat? This game does make you a little bit motion sick. Um, pretty fast if you're a first timer. Um, not as fast if you've played for a while. I can stand to play uh, quite a bit more, but I am starting to feel just a little pang of it, you know? Okay. This is one of the parts that relies more on jumping than on hooking stuff. So I'm going to try to use my launch for that. Oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Jump too soon. You know what, let's just try running. Yeah. One of the things that's difficult to get the hang of here is that you actually aim with your head. Oh, that was fun. I like, I love it when movements flow like that. I think it needs to, like, recalibrate where I am or something, because I keep going into walls, which didn't used to happen before. Okay, I vaguely remember this part. I remember it is rather challenging. I think they might have edited it, though. I don't think there used to be quite as many... Um, hookable surfaces here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. Yeah, they definitely changed stuff. Oh, now, see up there at the top? Th there's there's uh, bushes you can grab onto. They didn't used to have those. Yeah, they definitely edited stuff. Or, or it could just be because I played on hard mode. Oh, that would explain it, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, if it was hard mode, I'm, I'm proud of myself for having gotten as far as I did. How the fuck... Um, 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 oh, 
right, over there. Honestly, after having gotten so far on hard mode, what I'm assuming is hard mode, without all these little bushes, right now using them kind of feels like cheating. But like I said, it was also so frustrating that I almost don't mind. This is really easy in comparison though. Okay. Aw, uh, really? You used to have to do this part in parkour. Fine, I'll do it this way. Lame. Uh, it's silly. I, I, I remember getting so frustrated with this area back when I was playing on the PC, but on, on what I assume now is hard mode. But now that it's easier, it's like, man, lame, you know? Well, maybe I'll come back and try it in hard mode sometime. But first, let me enjoy actually finishing the uh, level. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't feel flat. That feels like I'm looking at a huge view. That that that's pretty amazing. I got to be honest. Wow. All right. Time to finish this level, which I've never finished before. Impressive guardian. You are a credit to your maker. Guardian is credit to team. Like, the, there's voiceover saying all of this, but um, I kind of turned it down the game volume. So, oh, hello, you're moving. What are you going to do? He's big. Oh, he's just going to walk off into the desert. Right, there was a collectible around here. I want to go get it. This seems like a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I don't care, because I finished the level, so... In the words of Sarah Lynn, Suck them sh Collectible. All right. Now back over to the big blue light. <laughs> I love the feeling of soaring through the air. It's hard to pick up speed in this game, but once you... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the kind of speed I wanted to pick up. I have collectible you. Yep, definitely one of my favorite VR games. Despite its simplicity. Or maybe thanks to its simplicity. I find that my favorite VR games combine um, uh, simplicity with complexity. Okay, wow, I've never gotten past this point. I'm excited. Oh, when you collect the collectibles, it creates this mural. I see. <sighs> Shit, maybe I, now I am going to try to get them. Yay! 
Oh. Oh. So I guess that one's open now. Let's go see what the next level is. Adventure ho! Oh wow, this looks different already. Oh, if the f first one was like a city. This is more like uh, uh, if the first one was like a forest. This is more like a city. I don't know why it just feels so much better when you do that. I'm gonna leave things off here for now. Uh, I'm so excited to finally get to a new part of the game. In conclusion, Windlands is freaking awesome. I'm not sure how much it costs, but clearly I thought it was worth the money even before I had a VR headset, so now it's even more worth it. Uh, there's a Steam sale that's about to start today uh, as I'm recording this. I'm sure it's already started when I upload it. So if it's on sale, definitely get it. Uh, I just... I love this game. What, can, what else can I say? Um, simple. Doesn't do a lot of stuff, but it does what it does well. Check it out. Uh, I'm Tomix, and I love VR. Thanks for watching.